Hello everyone, welcome to today's showcase on Dark Souls 3. Does our armor make me look fat? Yeah, it makes me look fat. Fat rolls for the win! Alright. So, wearing this armor is very few ar weapons I have left to choose to review. And considering this weapon, it is a bit of the annoying weapon that enemies use. The Winged Knight Halbert. Well, maybe, m mind you, I have fight a lot of winged knights for souls, and I'm sick of their halberds. <laughs> Anyhow, the description of this weapon reads, Halbert wielded by the winged knights, who swore themselves to the angels. Again, a lot of questions of that, but whatever. The thick, heavy, bloodstained blade can only be swung by one with a human strength. I, like, I love the choice of words there. Uh, skill, this is the chain spin. Sweeping forward in a large spinning motion, use a strong attack to continue the motion until stamina is exhausted. Very few weapons actually use the chain spin. I think it's only the Wing Knight weapons. I right, know, I think, uh, I think the little Gothard swords use that as well. So, very few weapons, though. And it's the only helper to use that web this skill as well. Alright, as for visually, I don't know. We know it's a halberd, looks incredibly familiar, but I failed to find any halberd with angled blades. It's like someone took a giant axe, cut off certain sections of the blade itself to make it angled, and then slapped it on this pole weapon. There's no halberd that really looks like this, at least not one to one from what I've found, but oh well. Going on to the stats for the Winged Knight Halbert. Physically, well, we got a lot of physical damage. We better, this thing's a heavy sucker. So we got 145 damage, but only 65 bonus, which is not even half. Well, unfortunate. Going on to tree bonus, you get D for strength and E for dexterity. Hmm. And probably not good in either. Trip requirement, though, you need 26 strength and 16 dexterity, which is quite a bit, to be honest. It's quite a bit for this weapon. Then we got the chain spin, which takes 10 FP to use and then 12 FP to do a follow up, and then it'll drain the rest of your stamina very, very quickly. And the weight of the weapon is 14.0, so it's a quite a heavy sucker. For the animations for the Winged Knight Halbert, the basic attack drives the plane attack overhead and sideways. The power attack for single handed is a very heavy sweep side to side. You got a lot of reach on this weapon. The two handed basic attack is a pretty much a mimicry of the basic single hand attack, just a little bit faster. Then the two handed power attack is a light spin with a heavy chop at the end. Rolling attacks for a light rolling attack is overhead chop. Like I said, fat rolls for the win. And the heavy rolling attack is a very heavy swing, a little bit slow. Using weapon offers no new animations whatsoever, so it's rather pointless. Now we're on to the chain sweep. You can keep going so long as you have stamina. My character doesn't have a lot of stamina, so that's all you get out of it. And the sprint attacks overhead chop, very rapid and quite deadly. All right. When upgrading this weapon, you need Tate Knight shards. Which is to be expected. Now, for every upgrade you get decent. 10 bonus. Roughly 14 for physical, which is quite a bit. A bit indeed. The tier bonuses are not changing though. Well, there we go, we finally got it at the last upgrade. I'm gonna do. The strength turned to a C. Took long enough though. But at least you get a lot of damage out of it in the end. Alright. Now. I expect this weapon to be actually quite painful for the enemy, and why am I not wearing the big knight armor? Well, I couldn't roll in it. <laughs> uh, so that's why I'm not wearing it. So we can see a lot of damage there. Plenty. Just to be expected. And we got excellent range and multiple hits. The only down downside to halberds, in my opinion, is their awkwardness. Because their angle of attack is so much different from other weapons. But it's not a huge deal. Now, I'm pretty sure a weapon this size has no trouble getting through a shield. Let's see. If the enemy would actually use a shield. It's one hit, and there's two. Yep, didn't take very much effort at all. And, yep, 600 damage for critical attack. Excellent. 
I have my doubts can go through a Gorgile shield. Kind of lacks the oomph. Alright, I wasn't the... Ball chain attack, the damage wasn't that great until the very end. The consecutive hitting only did around 100, so that wasn't very great. Yeah, it's not going through a shield of this size. Oh well. Okay, it's just... There we go. Managed to get through, but probably because of perseverance and draining his stamina. But oh well. Now, going against the Gorgile. I suspect this weapon do pretty good, actually. I have an excellent reach with the weapon. I don't know, I'm not sure if I should play with his range, though. I'm kind of skirting, uh, getting hit multiple times now. I don't feel like doing that. However, I want to wrap this up. So, using the power attack, I get myself hurt, but I deliver enough damage to my opponent. Oh well. The weapon's pretty powerful, but not amazingly powerful. It's alright. Let's move on to the pros and cons of the Winged Knight Halbert. On the pro side, it's good damage, has good reach, a chain slash can be useful against certain opponents, because has also has a good AoE, which is area of effect. A lot of different range of attacks. Now, on the con side, it is heavy. 14.0 is a heavy weapon. You also need high stat requirement to get this in the game. <laughs> 26 strength and 16 dexterity. Now everyone has both. Yeah. I might say those are the pretty good, decent cons for that. Now, moving on to score for the Wing Knight Halbert. Damage gets uh, 7 out of 10. It was average damage in the end. Kind of how I felt. But uh, reach, uh, give it 8 out of 10. It had a pretty good reach. On par with a lot of spears out there. Animation, I give it a 6 out of 10. Because you can get this weapon very early in the game. Very early. It could be, in fact, one of your first Halberts. Not, like, not that you can use it when you first get it. <laughs> uh, bonus, 5 out of 10. The bonus was really nothing sub spectacular at all. It was pretty average. Mist I gave it a 4 out of 10. This is by far the heaviest Halbert. And Halberts, well... They don't really give the oomph as other weapons do. It's kind of similar to spears. They're better in spears, but they don't have that same oomph as a lot of other bigger weapons. And this weapon's heavy. So if you're going to use a heavy weapon, I'd much rather use an ultra great sword. Or an axe, or a hammer. So I don't think this weapon really stacks up against all the other heavy weapons out there. So in total, the Wing Knight Halberd gets 29 out of 50, which is good. It's good. It's not horrible, but it's good. And so ends the chapter for the Winged Knights, who swore themselves to the Angels, which, who knows what they've been up, what they're smoking, what even they're doing in their day. I don't know, they swore themselves to the Angel, and they go around killing people. Are they trying to populate the heavens? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. <laughs> but no matter. They're gone, I'm still here, and the weapon, I don't care for. But that's my opinion. And that's been today's showcase. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and i see you guys next time. Take care out there.